This is the new book, and uh, I'm really, really pleased to be here, seeing real people. <laughs> because, hang on, I gotta... I have had the week from hell. I did a podcast. A lady asked me to, to, to interview me for a podcast, so I said, sure. The first hour was the glitches. To, to quell the sound of her telephone, she put pillows on top of it. After an hour of this stuff, she did a brilliant interview, but she forgot to push the record button. Oh. I thought, I'm going to kill her. It's a very phone from and she said, Mom, Dana, I didn't get my hands around her neck. <laughs> This is from my new book called Thrifty Gardening from the Ground Up. It's my magnum opus in terms of end-of-life gardening, gardening for new gardeners, and all of the tips that I got from my beautiful friends. Anyway, this is a, here's a paragraph from it. There is something about making a garden that goes way beyond the intense pleasure of the act itself. And when you start to get compliments, you are doomed. You will long to become more accomplished, to discover better ways of growing plants, or to make your surroundings even more delicious. Then, the minute you realize you couldn't care less if anyone else likes what you are doing, that you do it for yourself alone, a seismic shift takes place. You become a crazed gardener, and for that, there is no cure.